Welkom, je kijkt naar een uh, uitzending van Fast Moving Targets. We zitten in het Be Connected gebouw in uh, Amsterdam Zuidoost. Hier vindt vandaag de Permanent Beta dag plaats en we spreken met diverse bezoekers en uh, deelnemers. En naast mij is inmiddels iemand aangeschoven. Uh, please introduce yourself. What's your name and, and why are you here? My name is Jessie Cat and I'm here to explore Permanent Beta Day um, and understand uh, how all these ideas are being brought together, um, who's involved and just how, how it all works, what, what can happen from it. You, you come all the way from uh, Finland, you told me, you, you flew in today. Uh, so why? Why is this, this Permanent Beta concept something you, 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 well, you flew all the way in for? Um, I've, uh, I've been uh, aware of Permanent Beta for about a year um, and I understand that the, the concept is knowledge sharing, information sharing and, and all of it with the idea that money isn't the driver. You know, we're doing it to, to um, develop and, and uh, so that relates to a lot of the things that I'm doing back in Helsinki where we're trying to share information, develop skills, um, get people connected to, to other people, organizations, ideas, um, and if we can avoid money, that's fantastic. So um, that's one of the things that's uh, fascinating here. The, the way you, you, you um, say it, it sounds like really broad. Can you be more specific? What is it you do in Finland? <laughs> um, one of my main things in Finland is event management. Um, so we uh, create events for all kinds of things, but a lot of it is particularly related to um, technology um, and innovation. Uh, and so there's a lot of new information coming in, there's a lot of things to learn, a lot of different opportunities there. Um, most of our events are run on volunteers, small budgets, big ideas, volunteers. Um, and so we're trying to connect uh, create the benefit for the people who are participating as volunteers to, to learn new skills, make friends, expand professional networks, um, you know, potentially find uh, employment if that's what they're looking for, um, just other connections like that. Is it, is it difficult to find volunteers in, in Finland? Is it, is it something uh, well people do? It's, it's not... Um, it doesn't have much of a long tradition in Finland, um, however, it's not hard. It's not hard to find um, people who are willing to, to participate. So the, the trick is just getting, a, getting the message out to the right, to the right network. Um, but when people realise that there, there are opportunities to, to do these things, um, there's, there's definitely a, an available group. Yeah. Is it is it just because uh, well, uh, of course you can work with volunteers. It's 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 cheaper. Is that is that the main reason, or does it have a, a well um, sort of alternative uh, motive? Yeah, um, it's is yes. It's certainly cheaper to work with volunteers, but there's also um, a vibrancy and a community that that gets built up around it as well. When everybody is is in the air, and money is not the driving factor. They've got some other personal reason to be involved. People are more, more engaged, more into it, and it's it's um, it creates just a beautiful vibe. That's it's, it's really fun to be a part of, I suppose. Yeah. What what are the difficulties you face uh, working with volunteers? Um, well, of course, um, volunteers have have other lives outside of what's going on, and um, so some things are always able to come up. Oh. I've, I've got to work, I've got to go to school, you know, some other real life activities. So that's probably the main issue is that um, you have to be uh, open to things changing all the time right up to the last minute and just go with the flow. I, I've done quite a lot of work with volunteers myself and uh, well you could always see these sort of like waves that s sometimes there were a lot of people who wanted to be involved and then they all they all went away and then you there was hardly anyone left and did, do you recognize that? Um, no not so much uh, maybe because um, the work that I'm doing is quite often you know sort of short short-term projects so maybe it goes over a few months but it's sort of um, small uh, short and intense enough that it's yeah there's not, there's not so much waves it's just here and here and yeah so are there any specific people you you want to or, or who are the perfect candidates for for volunteering everybody is um is i think can have something to gain and something to to give um, from volunteering uh young old employed unemployed um uh, local Finns, immigrants uh, you know everybody has um has something yeah um, 
so you're here for the day. What is it you hope to to well to learn or to to? Um, I think making human connections is a, is a big thing. Um, finding people here who, who have great ideas that um, or have maybe more advanced uh, activities here that we can learn from and, and bring back to Helsinki, um, and vice versa. If there's some knowledge that I can share about what we're doing, fantastic. That's yeah. Sharing information. So, so um, uh, did you did you t uh, do you have a talk here, or are you just walking around and meeting people? Yeah. Um, mostly walking around and meeting people. Unfortunately, uh, my Dutch is not so good, so I am coming in and sitting in on some of the talks. But um, I uh, I'm there more to observe the the crowd than than understand what's happening. So it's it's fascinating just to see how people are interacting with the speakers and each other, and and the kind of the vibe that's that's coming from this. It's a, a permanent beta uh, um, uh, event. Um, is it a, a concept you're well, you're familiar with? Is it is it something that's that's also uh, known in Finland? Um, not permanent beta itself, but I think the concept is um, we don't have something quite like this. But there are some other associations um, in Finland that are on this on a similar track, I suppose, have aligned interests. Yeah. Oké, okay, thank you very much. Tot zover straks weer een volgende gast.